If you're looking to boost sales and get new customers, you're in the right place. Today, we're gonna to talk about advertising on the Shop app. Let's jump into it. So what is the Shop app? Well, put simply, it's just Shopify's native application that allows you to discover new brands, shop different Shopify stores, and even track your orders after you make a purchase. The best part is we can utilize this app for advertising to get in front of new customers, utilizing Shopify's own algorithm, and really try to hone down exactly what our return on ad spend is and what our customer acquisition cost is. So I'm gonna briefly walk you through exactly how the Shop app works, how you can advertise on it, and how quick and easy it is to get set up. So how exactly do you access the Shop app advertising? Well, you're just gonna hop into your Shopify dashboard and you're gonna go into your sales channels and you're gonna go into shop. After you go into shop, you're gonna see on the left-hand side, there's an option for advertising. You're gonna click into there and then you're gonna see in the top right-hand corner, the option for create campaign. Now, once you get in here, you're gonna realize there's a lot of options, but I'm gonna walk you through exactly how this works. So first, you're gonna to wanna to create a campaign name. Now, for example purposes, I'm just gonna write example campaign but I highly encourage you to use a naming structure that makes sense not only for you to keep track of your records and when you're going to make changes and updates, but also something that'll be recognizable to your team so that your marketing team can go in there and understand exactly why you created this campaign, when you created this campaign and things like that. Next, you're gonna have your tactics. And all this really is, is where the ads are gonna show. And you have two options. You can have ads on shop, which is mainly what we're discussing on the shop app. And then you have options to allow it to advertise for you on different platforms like Meta, like Facebook and Instagram. Now, originally when this first came out, you didn't have that added option, but I've seen in my experience that the ad campaigns are much more successful when you actually include these. So I highly recommend that you allow it to advertise on other platforms in addition to the shop app. Next, you're gonna have your budget. Now, Shopify's made this very easy and user-friendly, but you can adjust things in three different metrics. So first you have your customer acquisition cost. Next, you have your target return on ad spend. And then you have your daily budget. Now, with the shop advertising, you can adjust these independently based on what your spend is, what your goals are, and what you realistically want to spend to advertise on the app. However, they do have the option to use suggested. And again, in my experience, I've seen this actually work pretty well if you utilize the suggested spend across the customer acquisition cost, the return on ad spend, and the daily budget. But again, this is going to be very subjective to you and your brand and what you're looking to spend. So for example purposes, we're gonna just utilize the suggested, but feel free to adjust these in a way that works best for your brand. So now that we're utilizing the suggested metrics, let's dive a little bit deeper into what exactly they mean. So first we have our customer acquisition cost. Now the most important thing to remember is these are new customers and new customers are gonna be a lot more expensive than trying to get existing customers back to your store. So in this example, the suggested is $40, which may sound very expensive, but it's gonna be relative to how much your typical conversion value is. So if your average conversion value is 80, 100, 120, then $40 isn't that high. But if your site typically converts at 10, 15, or $20, then $40 is gonna be a little bit high. So it's great because you can adjust this based on what your average conversion is. Next is your target return on ad spend. And return on ad spend, put simply, is just a metric that shows how much revenue you get for how much money you spend. For example, if your return on ad spend is two, then you'll get $2 in revenue for every $1 spent. And again, you can adjust these based on whatever is, makes the most sense for your brand, but the suggested here is 1.1. So that means for every dollar we spend, we'll get a dollar and 10 cents back. Now that's a little low. I would probably push that a little higher. I think a return on ad spend should be close to two. However, we're talking about new customers here and there's not a lot of actual users on the shop app. So 
in my experience, using the suggested at this 1.1, that will be your bare minimum. And realistically, you will get more than 1.1 if you let this run. Next is your daily budget. And obviously, pretty self-explanatory. This is the maximum you're gonna spend on any given day on this advertising campaign. Now, if you look down here, you see your estimated weekly spend of 318, even with a $115 daily ad spend. This is just the maximum. So that doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna meet it. It's just the threshold that they're putting on top. Now, in my experience, I've very rarely seen this ever hit the maximum daily ad spend. So I think keeping it at this high level and then monitoring your campaign is really the best approach. Next, you're gonna have your countries. And this is pretty simple. In this example, we have the United States or Canada. This will vary based on where you're located. But for this example, we're just gonna keep it in the United States. Last, we have our schedule. And this is just gonna be the start date and the finish date. Now, it's important to remember, you can only run one of these campaigns at any given time. So maybe you wanna do a start date and an end date for one week or you wanna do it for six months. But in my experience, you wanna let these run for quite some time because they really need to take some time to actually see the results. So I personally would put a start date for when I create the campaign, and then I actually don't put in an end date because I like to let these run and see how they perform. You can always stop the campaign at any time and recreate another campaign if you do want to switch any of the metrics we discussed previously. And lastly, you just have the standard agreeing to the terms of service, which obviously you have to do to be able to run the campaign. Now let's focus on the results pane in the top right hand corner to really see what the potential is for this campaign. So as you can see, based on the suggested metrics that Shopify provided for us, we're gonna see an estimated seven to eight new customers every single week with around $344 to $420 in sales, a return on ad spend of 1.2 to 1.5 with an average order value of $48 to $58. So these are pretty decent results, but like, like I told you before, I typically like to let these run and see what the results are because they tend to be better than the estimated results that Shopify provides you here. And that's it. After you hit save, the campaign will start running and then you'll start advertising on Shop App. So before we wrap up, I just wanna go over some tips and tricks that I recommend to make sure that your shop ads are as effective as possible. So first is gonna be making sure that you monitor these on a regular basis. And you're just gonna to wanna to look at the metrics, look at the results, see what's going on, see how much ad spend you're spending, see what the typical conversion value is, and make sure you're hitting those return on ad spend numbers. In my experience, like I said, I rarely ever see this underperform based on the metrics that you set. Typically what I'll see is better performance than what they're actually showcasing to you in the estimated results. Next is making sure you let these ads run. You really don't wanna be monitoring these on a daily basis. Check in every week, maybe twice a week, but let them run for 30, 60, 90 days. I typically don't see the best results come in until you pass that 30 day period. So don't worry too much about them. I just keep track of that daily ad spend, make sure it doesn't go way higher than what you wanna budget for, but really let these run. In my experience, you start to see those return on ad spends figures really start increasing over time. So check them on a weekly basis, but just let these campaigns run and really let them perform in the way they're meant to perform. And that's it. That's Shopify app advertising. It really is a user-friendly, easy to set up advertising campaign that'll help you to get new customers to your Shopify store. If you like this video, I highly encourage you to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss the next tutorial on how to grow your Shopify. I'll see you in the next one.